You wanna go for a ride? Huh? You wanna go for a ride with the dog catcher? Oh, you wanna go for a ride with the dog catcher? Huh? Uh, we're gonna be targeting Little Havana. We're gonna be dividing two teams. One is gonna be targeting the, uh, the north side, the other is gonna be is targeting the south side. Two street. This is our sixth year. Our sixth year that we do it here in Little Havana. We're trying to uh, clean the streets, our stray dogs. Uh, at the same time, we're trying to send a message to the people as to what the regulations are on having a dog loose in the street. No chip. Yeah, you want to go we're trying to send a message out to the public that uh, they should have their dogs leashed or inside their property. Otherwise, you know, we can take them to the pound. Like that animal looks like he, uh, he's sick. Uh, yeah, we have reports he has been wandering in the streets for a few days. Uh, nobody's feeding him, nobody's giving him water. Uh, the last thing we want is the kids to uh, be out of school now and get bitten by an animal who's sick. Of the Miami-Dade County Animal Services, we handle dog bites, and at this rate now we are approximately over 100 dog bites a month. And uh, some of these dogs are very friendly, but some are not, so you never know. And that's the reason we're doing this type of operation. Once the animals are picked up, they're held at the shelter for five days. That is the, so the owners can come and reclaim their dogs, be the dogs to be reunited with the owners. After that period, they become county property, and the county can adopt them out at that point. How many we end up with that? 14 dogs. 14 great. dogs, great, great. Uh, five warnings and one citation. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's definitely going to be safer for the kids uh, in the summer and for everybody here. We truly appreciate it. Thanks, man. Take care, man. Thank you. He's a good boy. He wants to go with the dog.